Good Saturday evening, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik, one of the News Channel 3 weather experts, keeping you updated as to what's going on in and around the Mid-South area. Through the rest of the weekend, again, things decently quiet for the time being. At least we're drying out a little bit as we get into the rest of the forecast for Sunday and looking pretty good for the first part of this upcoming week around Monday. But then we're going to be starting to look for some changes taking place. So if you have any plans, again, for travel into the next couple of days. We are going to be seeing in the potential for some changes out there. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. Don't forget to download our weather app if you're going to be heading out pretty soon or you know anybody who's heading into the Mid-South to again keep them updated as to what's going on with weather out there. Welcome to Weather Overtime. This is our online video weather blog helping you stay informed as to what goes on around the area where it comes to weather. We're covering the area of North Mississippi, West Tennessee, and Eastern Arkansas specifically in what's called the Mid-South. If you can't stick around for the whole thing, that's great. We usually do about 10 to 15 minutes here of weather forecast scrolling by in the blue bar at the bottom of your screen or Again, you can check out WREG.com slash weather for updates on the entire forecast on there. Coming up, we'll take a look at weather for travelers in the Mid-South. It's going to be possibly some windy and wet conditions heading our way into the course of the rest of the next couple of days. Again, not too bad, but after that, toward Thanksgiving, shopping and traveling out there toward next weekend, a lot of changes coming on through, so stick around. We'll talk about that in detail in just a little bit. Drop your weather information if you got some weather reports. Uh, put that thermometer outside the kitchen window to some good use. Let us see what's going on in your neck of the woods, and then type in your city, state, where you're checking in from. doesn't have to be in the Mid-South, wherever you're watching from tonight. Let us know where, and again, we'll take a look and see what some of the weather conditions are out there as we go into the evening. Like Grady Bennett from Berclair, 43 degrees. Thank you very much, and good evening to you, and thanks for that weather report there. The cloud cover tonight is going to be a lot like the blanket on top of the bed on kind of a chilly evening. If somebody yanks that black blanket away, the heat from around the bed just radiates away, and then temperatures for you cool off pretty quickly. Well, that's what's going to happen tonight as drier air makes its way on through. The heat from the day, what there was of it from the sunlight, keeping things on the milder side today, even though it was kind of chilly, we did warm up a bit. And numbers, again, will drop tonight as those clouds part, and the heat from the day just radiates away. So numbers by tomorrow morning could easily be back in the lower to mid 30s. So we could be seeing again the possibility of some frost across the mid south tomorrow morning. Nothing in the way of major winter weather, but once again, remember to scrape the entire windshield clean. That whole periscope driving thing is just really just not a good idea. So don't don't try that. Make certain you can see out of all the windows before you go heading down the roadways. Just make certain everybody stays safe, especially you and that driver's seat right there. Rest of the evening and through the rest of the next couple of days, as a matter of fact, we're going to be keeping a very close eye on what travel is like for both air, road, rail, anything else like that. So far, the good news, again, around 240 in Poplar and around the rest of the loop area for Memphis and the various TDOT sites in the Mid-South, various DOT websites, I should say, uh, showing very little, if anything, taking place outside of the occasional accident every few hours. Traffic moving along quite nicely. A little heavy for a Saturday night, but not bad at 240 in Poplar from our Hilton East Memphis camera, and also looking at some heavy traffic just a little bit farther up the road at I-40 and Witten Road, uh, looking again from our transmitter tower camera, traffic moving in all directions, but still just a bit on the heavy side out there. So we are looking again at some good travel conditions for tonight as the roadways dry out and we start to see that colder, dry air make its way into much of the area. Our storm system is clearing the area. We're taking the chances of rain on with it. Most of it in the Carolinas from Georgia all the way back up to around Chesapeake Bay and parts of the Appalachians. We're not seeing a lot on the back side of this system. And if you take a look back to around the Mid-South area, the clearing line is right into eastern Arkansas and southern Missouri. So we should be seeing this clear air make its way through the Mid-South through the next few hours. Again, that's the blanket going away, and that's what's going to cause the temperatures to drop later on this evening. So we will see the clearer skies towards tomorrow morning. 
Won't be totally clear, but at least we'll get rid of some of the moisture out there, giving us again some pretty nice conditions into tomorrow, but could be a chilly one coming up as we get into around tomorrow morning. But as of right now, the good news is, again, nothing showing up in the way of precipitation across the Mid-South, so good news uh, on there for the time being. Nice in, <clears throat> excuse me, Pope, Mississippi. Uh, Andrea Rovine Ellingberg, hope I'm saying that right. Welcome to the show. And everybody else checking in across the Mid-South. 41 in Waterford, Mississippi. Penny Leopard, thanks for joining us. And thanks to everybody else for checking in. 43 in Dyersburg, Nancy Bell. Uh, thank you very much for that weather report. And going to be seeing again the possibility of some more quiet conditions in there for tonight. Beth Lawrence Rerig, how do I get rid of you? Uh, well, you can just stop watching. If you don't like what you're seeing, that's entirely up to you, but thanks for joining us anyway for right now. We're looking again at some pretty quiet conditions for now, but some chilly numbers already out there, mid to upper 30s to lower 40s, and wind's a little breezy, so we do have a bit of a wind chill out across much of the area for tonight, so we will see some cooler numbers overnight into tomorrow morning. So if you're heading out of the town for, say, dinner and a late movie, that's something, again, to keep an eye on because, again, it's going to be pretty brisk out there into early Sunday morning. Let's go ahead and run the numbers and show you what we've got going on through News Channel 3 at 10. Jackson, Tennessee, Corinth, Mississippi, Oxford, Tupelo, into that area. You may see a leftover bit of drizzle out there, but that's going to be, again, the worst of what we're looking at for right now in the way of rainfall, that drier air making its way across the Mississippi River. Past midnight and into early tomorrow morning, easily some lower 30s across portions of the Mid-South, so we could be seeing, again, the uh, possibility into around the area of that frost out there, so that's something to take a look at. Judy Ray, good evening, 41 degrees in Cortland, Mississippi. Uh, thanks for joining us. Meteorologist C.J. White, 43 in Starkville. Thank you very much uh, for checking on in, but again, showing to see the possibility of some chilly numbers out there. 42 in Atoka, wind chill of 37. K. McGuire, thank you very much uh, for checking on in for the time being. Uh, Beth Lawrence Rarig, no problem. This is what we do weather for to let people know what's going on, but there's plenty of other news out there, so uh, no newscast online tonight, and as far as I know, we don't do anything like that, but follow us for more uh, news out there. This is just our weather segment to help everybody learn more about that. If you don't like it, again, thanks for joining us. Thanks for stopping by. Temperatures through the rest of the day, looking at numbers back in the lower 50s by the time we hit around lunchtime tomorrow, and high temperatures, again, with extra sunshine should be a little bit warmer into tomorrow. Again, not by much, and it should be just almost right around where we should be for this time of the year. So early into tomorrow afternoon, mid to upper 50s to right around the lower 60s or so, and that's going to be about all that we see again for the time being at this point. But those southerly winds will help to keep the temperatures up, some drier air coming on through, so the latter half of the weekend looks a little bit less dreary than the first half of the weekend did. And looking like it's going to stay that way into the early Monday morning commute time. Sunday evening, kind of chilly. Temperatures back into the mid to upper 40s with those southerly winds continuing across much of the Mid-South. All right, seven-day forecast. Let's go ahead and hit those numbers for you to show you what we've got going on. Mid-50s for Sunday with mostly clear to partly cloudy skies, so a beautiful way to end the weekend, the second to last weekend of November. Looking at Monday, temperatures quite mild back in the mid-60s. Plenty of sunshine out there, and enjoy it while you can because the changes will take place after we go through here. Mid to upper 60s, even close to 70 degrees on Tuesday. Showers begin in the morning. Add in some thunderstorms possible as we get into the afternoon and evening. Again, it does not at this time look like severe weather for Tuesday, but again, we're going to be watching that very carefully at this point just to see what goes on. Uh, into and around the Mid-South for right now. Could be the possibility of seeing, again, some, again, more areas of colder weather uh, into and around the area. Faustin Henderson, yes, uh, chance of storms, but right now it just really doesn't look like severe weather. Uh, if it is a possibility, we may see that at this point in time. So, again, we may see the potential of that. It's possible, again, but not likely. So, again, we'll be watching this very carefully as we go throughout the course of the rest of the next several days. So keep it tuned to the weather experts for more on that. Now, going into the rest of the forecast, 
Busy travel day coming up on Wednesday. Cooler and chances of rain showers going to be on there as we get into and around midweek period of time. And unfortunately, it looks like a pretty good chance of showers out there at about maybe 60, 70 percent or so. And that could be kind of sloppy travel out there as we get into and around the area of midweek. For the big day itself, temperatures in the lower 50s. And there will be that chance of scattered showers out there, but once again, too warm for anything but rainfall. Nothing in the way of any winter weather for the Mid-South, and no severe weather either. So some rain, an annoyance to be certain if you're going to be traveling out there, but it does not look like it's going to be too much of anything uh, in the way of a major problem. Now, early Friday morning, a lot of people doing the whole Black Friday routine, getting up and shopping. There will be chances of showers out there, wet parking lots, a lot of activity, people traveling to and from the stores, not really paying attention, and that's not going to get helped too much by that rainfall potential out there. So please keep that in mind as we see that possibility of scattered showers out there. Doesn't look like flash flooding, but it does look like wet roadways, wet windshields. So again, definitely want to keep that in mind. Now the numbers improve on the temperatures as we go into and around the end of the week and into this next weekend. So that looks okay. That's all part of the next storm system that's going to be coming on through here. And as it does, most of it is going to be passing north of the Mid-South area. If you're going to be traveling anywhere to, say, between Denver, uh, Omaha, Minneapolis, Chicago, in that area, storm system lifting up into the northern plain states is going to avoid most of the mid-south there will be some rainfall going into early on saturday maybe lingering to around sunday but winter storm with possibly hazardous driving conditions could be a problem as we look into and around the area of this next late week and weekend now here in the mid-south the effect of that is going to be dragging down a lot of colder air and that means we're going to be seeing a big drop in temperatures coming up as we get back to work or school. People heading back home next Sunday, that looks pretty good for right now. A few showers again in the morning, but then we clear things out and numbers could be kind of frigid as we get into the early part of December. That's again, can be pretty typical out there, but something to watch out for. Still nothing in the way of winter weather showing up on this map. And again, still by the time we head toward late November, early December, there's just nothing out there in the way of severe weather taking place, so definitely some good news on that. All right, let's go ahead and time things out for you where the rainfall begins as we go to around Tuesday morning. That's where we see most of the chances of rainfall uh, into and around the area there toward about the beginning portion of Tuesday. And also, again, you notice the moving lines here. They start getting red and yellow. That shows some fast-moving winds out of the southwest, so it's going to be breezy and more chances of rain from Tuesday evening right on into Wednesday morning as lots of people hit the road and the skyways and the railways out there. But rainfall kind of takes a bit of a break as we go into Wednesday evening, so some dry conditions across the Mid-South and a little less breezy. For the big day itself, starting off, again, getting things ready in the kitchen, decently cool, rainfall back to the west of us, and then moving into the Mid-South as we head toward turkey time or whatever it is you're going to be putting on the Thanksgiving table out there. Chances of rain start late morning, early afternoon, continue into Thursday evening. And again, those chances of rainfall right now look to be best north of I-40 and the metro area. But these maps being so stretched out in time will also change into the course of the next couple of days. So we will see again more of those chances of rain sticking around right on into shopping time on Friday morning. So if you're going to get up and hit the stores early, that's where we see, again, the potential for more of that rainfall out there, and that may stick around for parts of the area right on into Friday. Going into Saturday, more chances of rainfall, more gusty winds making their way into the picture. So some decent heavy amounts of rainfall there. Maybe even a few thunderstorms, dare I say it, but a little too early for that, about a week out to take a look and see uh, what we have again for right now. So we could see the possibility of that uh, being a bit of a problem out there. Apologies, we appear to be having some... Uh, connection issues. I'm not entirely sure why. Uh, hopefully everybody can see out there for right now. So hopefully not too much of a problem for the time being. I apologize if that's a bit of an issue for right now. Hopefully that's 
uh, rectifies itself for just a moment. So thank you very much for sticking with us at this time. Most of what we're looking at again for right now is going to be, again, the potential for that rainfall making its way out of the picture by next Sunday. And things look pretty quiet, but north of us there could be, again, some areas of snow showers out there. And that's going to be about all that we see at this point for most of the Mid-South area. Good news again for right now, we could be looking at the possibility of some lesser amounts of anything involving the tropics. We have about a week left until the end of hurricane season 2019, and we still have tropical storm Sebastian way out into the Atlantic and moving away from us with nothing else developing in the Gulf, the Caribbean, or the Western Atlantic at this time, so good news on that. Over the course of the next few days, Sebastian over the colder waters weakens by just a little bit and heads its way once again toward the British Isles. So we could be looking at a bit of a windstorm here. So anybody heading across the pond in the next few days toward the end of the week might be looking at some inclement weather by Friday and into around the area of this next weekend as that storm gears up and starts bringing a lot of rainfall uh, into the area, possibly some windy conditions as well into around Western Europe and parts of the British Isles. So something to think about there as we go into the course of the next couple of days. Again, take a look at the forecast. Stay up to date on what's going on, especially if you are traveling. You don't want to get into a situation, again, where you don't know what's heading your direction. Flexibility and knowledge beforehand is going to be one of the best keys that you can possibly have. One way to do that, keep up to date with our forecast again at WREG.com where you can catch our 7 to 10 day forecast, the interactive radar page, so much more information there. And again, that's WREG.com slash weather to find out more details about that in case you need those information on the roadway, trying to help you out, stay safe, and stay informed out there. Thanks to everybody for joining us uh, for tonight out there, and thanks for the weather reports as well for right now. Uh, temperatures again tomorrow morning could be a bit frosty. The metro area in the mid-30s could be a few lower 30s outside of Memphis into around rural Shelby County and the rest of the Mid-South as well. And then numbers rising with some extra sunshine tomorrow. Won't get rid of the clouds entirely, but it's better than what we have seen in quite some time across the Mid-South. Again, with a little bit more mild conditions out there and looking pretty good as we go throughout the rest of Sunday. Changeable travel conditions out there over the next few days. And again, so far no winter weather, no severe weather, but that could change easily enough. So again, keep it tuned to the weather experts on that. Questions, concerns, ideas about what we can offer you here on weather overtime, please let me know. Send uh, your weather pictures to me as well, austin.onic at wreg.com, and we'll feature those on News Channel 3 social media and on our newscast when we have time. I'll have more coming up tonight on News Channel 3 at 10, and of course tomorrow morning, bright and early on News Channel 3 Daybreak that starts at 6 a.m. Central Standard Time. So join us for that, and we'll keep you updated on the forecast throughout the rest of the weekend. Thanks for joining us tonight, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onick. More throughout the rest of the weekend with News Channel 3 on air and online. Thanks for stopping by tonight.